Today we will be taking a look at Tesla stock, ticker TSLA, performing some technical analysis and making some price predictions on where we can expect to see the stock go in the next few days and weeks. Let's check it out. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another stock market video and we're kicking off a brand new series today where we take a look at stocks and perform some technical analysis on them in order to make some predictions as to where the price could go. But this is I suppose a bit of a spin-off of the series I do with crypto and instead I'm going to start focusing a lot more on various stocks such as Tesla. So if there's any you want to see, leave them down in the comment section below. And of course, if you do enjoy today's video, remember to leave a thumbs up as well. I'd really appreciate it and it helps me out so much with the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of content. We cover crypto, stocks, wealth management and investing in general. So if that tickles your fancy, hit subscribe and turn on bell notifications. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the stock and perform some analysis. Welcome into the Tesla stock today, guys. This is obviously our first time taking a look at the chart. So we're gonna zoom out and see what's gone on in the past few months. And as you can see, Tesla has had a magnificent climb leading up towards the end of 2021. And then since roughly the middle of March, oh sorry, the middle of February, the stock has seen a bit of a decline after the absolutely insane run it has had. So let's firstly put in some fundamental factors. Where are our key support and resistance points for Tesla? Firstly, let's put in where our support points are. And as you can see, we have, I suppose, hit this point on numerous occasions. And this point that we're referring to is at roughly $546. So we're gonna put in our support at roughly this level as a major support point. We're gonna also make that line just a little bit bigger so it makes it easier to see. Let's copy that. And then now let's look for our key point of resistance. And in fact, I think we are sitting at the key resistance point roughly right about now due to the fact that there has been plenty of price action that has occurred here. And that point is roughly at 685 US dollars. So you can see we've got a nice little channel which we've moved into. And clearly there has been plenty of price action within this period since I suppose the end of 2021 all the way through to where we're sitting now in July of 20 or 2021, sorry, 2020's last year, December of 2020 and July of 2021. And now we're sitting at the top of the band. We're actually at a very important point right now where we're testing key resistance levels. Now, the aim obviously here is to try break through it. You can see a few days ago that we had an attempt right about here, and now we've re-gone back, bounced, and then we're going back right now to test that point again. What happens over the next few days is going to be extremely important. Best case scenario, Tesla breaks through. And where does it then go? It goes for our next point of resistance and that key point is I'm going to actually move it probably to about this point here which is $740 and the reason I've put it there is once again due to the level of price action that we've seen at this point in the past so plenty's gone on there plenty of buyers plenty of sellers all that sort of good stuff let's chuck in a few more indicators now the ones we really like to use are the moving averages. So let's chuck in three. We like to use the 20 day moving average and we're going to plonk that one in first. There we go. And that one will be in blue. We're gonna chuck in the 50 day moving average and we're gonna make that one a reddish sort of color. And then finally, we are going to place in the 200 day moving average and we'll keep that in yellow. So. You can see right now, the reason we bounced off 
this random sort of point that it looked like previously was due to the fact that this is where the 200 day and the 50 day moving averages were actually converging. What we have seen right now is the 50 day moving average dip below the 200 day. That's actually known as a death cross. So we're not only at a critical point in the sense of we need to see the price break through this key resistance point at $685. We're also at a key point because if it doesn't and we start going downwards, then this death cross is going to come into effect and we're going to start trending downwards, which is not what we want to see. And we're at risk of then going back down to this 545 roughly sort of level of support. And hopefully we would obviously not breach that, but worst case scenario, that's where we're heading if we can't breach right now. Now, obviously we do also have this 20 day moving average sitting at $650 US, which will act as support for us as well now, but we really need to see this breach in the resistance up here. It is at critical levels, obviously, as I mentioned before. So really we wanna see a couple of things occur. The first of which is we want to see this 50 day moving average at $629 cross back above the 200 day moving average at $632. That is step number one. Step number two is to obviously break through this resistance point at $685 as well. And then we want to try and stay within this range between $685 and $740. That will be effectively the key price target for today's video, $740. That is very, very important. Now, I'm just gonna remove some of the averages here because I wanna add in a few more indicators. The first of which is the MACD. Let me just find that here. Actually, I'm in the wrong tab. There we go, indicators, uh, MACD moving average, convergence, divergence. Let's look at where we're going. Well, very interesting. What we were going to see was potentially, we're moving into the red, we're diverging into that position. But fortunately, we have not ended up crossing back down. We've actually gone up and we're moving. And this is, as I mentioned, we do not want another death cross to occur. And on the MACD chart, we're seeing that we've avoided this for the time being, but we need to see the volume of buying now coming in in order to support us, in order to make sure that we have that 50 day cross back above the 200 day and we keep trending in an upwards direction. Very, very important. We wanna keep the upwards momentum going here. Let's close that one down. Let's also just bring into play the relative strength index, the RSI. And as you can see, we're in a safe range. We're currently sitting at a point of 61.98 roughly. So we're fine. Yes, we're at the top end of the band, close to 70, but there is still plenty of steam. We're not overbought, so we can continue moving upwards. That's all we really need to see there. So we're not in a bad position in that sense. Now, let's just zoom out slightly and have a look. Is there a long-term trend we can establish as well? I think there is. And I'm going to grab it from this little point down here. And I'm going to move like this, right about there. And as you can see, once again, we bounced off this trend. I want to make sure you guys understand why this is the trend. I'm just going to delete that. You can see we have consistently touched this point on numerous occasions on our journey upwards and we've continued we obviously broke a lot and started moving we've come back down to this point and it has acted as you can see as a key point of support for us and a key point where our 50 and 200 day moving averages actually were they were sitting as you remember off this point where we've just bounced so we are still in an upwards trend from a long-term perspective we're getting to a point now actually where it is relatively tight from a price action point of view. We're coming to a critical point now where we're going to either breach, which is ideally the situation, or we're gonna bounce in this sort of a fashion 
in an upward sort of wedge. And that means we're going to either break upwards or downwards. In this situation, given we are moving in a long-term uptrend, the more likely situation is that Tesla is going to break upwards into the next channel between $685 and $740. That is my price target for the next few weeks, $740 US dollars. And that wraps up the Tesla analysis for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below or any other stocks that you would want me to have a look at and perform some technical analysis and make some price predictions for. Full disclosure, I don't hold Tesla, so this is a completely unbiased review of the stock from a charting perspective. But obviously, I hope it does go well for holders and it is looking very, very promising. If you did enjoy today's video, remember to leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and join the channel. We include investing, crypto, stocks and wealth management in our content. So if that tickles your fancy, hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. And with that, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.